Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand select command in SQL. So, the use of select command in SQL. The select command come under the category of DQL, data query language, in order to query the database, in order to ask questions. Querying means asking questions. So, in short, we call it as queries. So, all the, all the commands that we are going to use, they are also called as queries so asking questions to the uh, asking questions to the database and that questions can be asked by using select command try to understand that point so the select command is very important to understand and the use of select command is going to be very high in this class and the next class we will try to understand just the basics okay there are different uh, possibilities of using the uh, different uh, different specifications and different features can be used by using the select command in this class we will just see the basic structure and uh, in the next class also we will see the basic structure of the select command so what is this select command the select command uh, the select command is used to select see here select or retrieve the data from the database in order to select or retrieve the data from the database the select command is used the data returned is stored in a result table whatever the data that we are going to return for example a question is asked which we call it as a query for that question based upon that question the answer that we are going to get will be displayed in a result table will be displayed in a result table that is very important to understand okay so now uh, select command using star we will try to understand the uh, basic select command by using uh, the by the use of star and this is the structure of select command so what this star is used for is to select all the rows in the table for example if this is the table and we are having 10 rows in order to select all the content all the rows in the table we we are going to use this star star symbol okay so uh, the the structure of the select command is select star this is a star from from is also a keyword select is a keyword and from is also a keyword select star from table name from which table we would like to select all the rows in our previous classes we have covered this users table so from that users table we are trying to select the all the tables and the output of this table output of this query so this is what we call it as query the output of this query is displayed here we have covered this concept in our previous class, uh, classes this table we have two uh, columns name and id and the rows are uh, 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 the rows are vikram and krishna so these are the two rows that we have inserted into the users table so that entire table will get displayed okay so uh, this is how we can display all the content in the table for example if you want to specify we, if you want to narrow down the output narrow down the uh, display uh, and we want to display only specific columns only specific columns in the table how it can be done it can be done by naming by using the column names between the select and from so so far in our previous class uh, in the previous query is used to display all the rows but we want to display we want to uh, we want to vertically divide the table so the column names are to be mentioned but all the rows will get displayed try to think of this logic so let's try to go slowly for example if this is our table okay we have this table so no need to draw we have this table called users we want to divide this table based upon the rows for example if you want to display only name only name column we want to display then we 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 are going to if you want to divide the table vertically so that can be done by using the column names column one column two column three uh, uh, based upon our requirement we can divide this entire table into the columns so the columns may be random so for example if we have these many uh, columns in our table if you want to display first column third column and fifth column so the column names are x y z so what we have to do we have to specify those column names here 
select x comma y comma z so from all these tables uh, from all these columns we are going to divide we are going to select only these columns from which table use a, a table name the table name has to be mentioned okay so these column names this part of the select query is going to divide the table vertically try to understand that point and all the rows will be displayed so from this uh, from these columns all the rows for example if this table is having 10 rows only these columns will be displayed but all the rows will get displayed okay so this is how the things will get uh, executed and one more thing is every sql query is going to uh, is going to execute row by row first row it is going to uh, select and after that second row third row fourth row fifth row so row by row it is going to uh, identify and uh, and based upon the uh, query that is asked those uh, those that content will get displayed so we will try to understand uh, uh, in deeper in our later classes let's try to let's try to uh, go uh, select some rows from our uh, users table so select star from users so the entire users table will get displayed similarly if you want to display only a specific column see here select name from rows users only the name column will get displayed okay so this is this is the basic understanding of the select command in our next classes we will see deeper understanding about uh, uh, how to select the uh, content in a different way rows and columns specific rows how to select a specific rows that can be decided uh, uh, by using a where class that we will try to understand in our later class in our next class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this class please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you have any uh, if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching